Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. In this video we're going to focus on the bid, the ask and the spread. But firstly what I want to do is just focus a little bit on the pricing structure for currency pairs. Now on the right hand side here is a price for this currency pair. Now some brokers tend to use five decimal places, some tend to use four. The actual price itself is the same, it's just that some bro brokers decide to take the last digit out. Now what I want to pretend for this example is that the price which is highlighted in the black box here is at a standstill. So let's pretend that that price currently is 1.35507. So what does this mean? Well. The chart showing in front of you is a chart for the Euro USD. So the first currency listed, i.e. the Euro, is the base currency, and the second currency listed, i.e. the USD, is its counterpart. So this price here means that to buy one Euro, it will cost 1.35507 US dollars, or 1.36 if you want to shorten it. So in terms of the actual buying and selling prices, which is generally what mo how most people refer to those prices as, it is really worth knowing what the technical terms for those prices are. So the selling price is referred to as the bid and the buying price is referred to as the ask. Now you may read many technical articles about why one is called a bid, why one is called the ask, but realistically this is all you need to know. Now the spread is the difference between those two prices. Okay, So these prices obviously are constantly moving, but let's pretend the difference between those two prices is 2. Okay, That means that the spread is 2 pips wide. Okay, Now the reason for the spread is basically for brokers to make money out of you. Okay, So the way that they do that is as, is as follows. No matter which direction you trade in, whether it's up or whether it's down, you will always start, in this particular example, if the spread is 2, you will always start 2 pips in debt. So if you're trading $1 per pip, you will always start 2 pips in debt. Okay, So you will have to accumulate, no matter which direction you're going into, 2 pips in order to break even. Okay, so um, I mean, brokers do make money out of you um, other ways, but we're going to discuss that in a later video. But in terms of the bid, the ask, and the spread, which is the diff difference between those two prices, that is all you need to know. But if you do have any questions or any comments, do let us know in the comments box below. Um, otherwise, we shall see you in the next lesson.